Hello YouTube, this is Lil Dylan. I'm bringing you this video today to show you a tutorial on how to AFK woodcutting IV. And I don't just mean AFK like you're sitting next to your computer and just not paying attention. I mean like you are in a completely different room of your house. Okay, so the requirements are you're going to need an iPod Touch 4th generation, nothing below 4th generation, and an iPhone which can multitask. I'm not sure what generation that is, but you'll know if you have the iPhone. Anyway, uh, so you're going to need those two things. Of course, you're going to need a computer. Uh, you're going to need the program Skype on your computer. You're going to need Remote PC Suite on your computer. You're going to need iRemote on your iPod and also Skype on your iPod. So to get these programs, just open up your browser. Okay, so just go to Google and then type in Skype. What? Whatever. Skype. And then click the first link. Okay, then what you're going to want to do is... Hold on, I installed Skype a long time ago. Yeah, just do get Skype and do for, you know, whichever one you have. Uh, I have Windows, so I'm going to click Windows. And uh, then just do download now. And then you'll end up downloading the... Um, the thing that lets you install it, and I wonder if I still have it on my computer. Uh, no, I don't have it. So anyway, you're just going to download it, and then it's going to probably end up in your downloads or on your desktop, and then uh, you just click on it, install it, and then you'll end up with Skype. And what Skype is used for is so you could hear the sound of uh, the wood cutting. And uh, when you first open up Skype, it's probably going to ask you to make an account or something. Uh, for this, you're going to need two Skype accounts. Uh, my Skype account is Lil Dylan, and uh, I don't know what I'm clicking on. So you're going to need one account that's going to be used on your computer, and one account that's going to be used on your iPod or iPhone. So I, my Skype accounts are Lil Dylan and What Are Life. Okay, so that's how you get Skype. Remote PC Suite, just also, you know, go to Google and uh, type in Remote PC Suite. And then uh, then just go right here, I guess, Remote PC Suite. Or just click that. Well, that's iRemote Suite. Yeah, just click Remote PC Suite. And then uh, there's for Mac and for PC. And then just download whichever one you have. Uh, then you'll get it also in your downloads or on your desktop, install it, and then you'll have this. And open it up, and it never seems to open up for me if I open it like that. I'll open it later. Anyway, when you have those two programs installed on your computer, you want to go on the app store on your... I'm sorry I can't show you this, uh, because... You know, you can't really record your iPod unless it's jailbroken, and I'm not jailbreaking my iPod. So just go to the App Store and then type in Skype, S-K-Y-P-E, and install it. Uh, both of these apps are free. And then also go to the App Store and search iRemote Suite, and then install that. Okay, when you get your uh, remote PC suite and iRemote suite, I wish this would open. Anyway, it's not opening for me just because my computer's lagging. Uh, basically, it's going to give you an IP address, and it's not your IP address that it normally is. Uh, it's an IP address for Remote PC Suite. What you're going to want to do when you open up Remote PC, I mean iRemote Suite, on your iPod is going to have this screen that says Host IP Address, and you're going to type in the IP address that is assigned to you on Remote PC Suite. And... Uh, then you're just going once you type it in you just click catch and then this will pop up on your computer and you want to do allow and remember uh, da, 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 da. and so what you're going to have to do is type in like a password i doesn't really matter what it is i just type in 123 and then click remember and then on your iPod it's gonna say enter password enter password to get control of host machine then just type in the password again you know one two three and then it approves the connection uh, 
obviously you can't see this because you're not looking at my iPod, but uh, see how the mouse is kind of jerking around a little bit? That's not lagging. I'm actually moving it from my iPod, so it's not as smooth as if you were using your mouse. But uh, so you can see your desktop. And the whole reason for being able to see your desktop is so you could see RuneScape when it's on your desktop. So, okay. What you're going to want to do now is, of course, you know, open up RuneScape. Either open it from your browser or open it from. I have the uh, download. Okay. So, I was woodcutting Ivy anyway. So, now that you have this open, you could probably, if you still have your iPod, you know, on, you can see yourself on your iPod. I recommend having a view of yourself like this from the back and not like a camera angle like this or like this because on iRemote it's kind of hard to use the keyboard uh, so you're basically just using the mouse so if you have a good view of uh, the Ivy you could more easily ki click the Ivy. Okay so now that you can see it on your computer that's all well and good but to AFK like you it you just be watching it on your iPod then and you know if you're just watching it on your iPod then you're not really AFKing you're just watching it uh so normally I AFK by just listening to the sound of the Ivy chopping and uh so what you're going to want to do is go to your options and then go to audio settings just turn this one all the way up and this one I just have like that it doesn't really matter and turn the music off this is so you could just hear the ivy chopping. Okay. So, you could see yourself on your iPod now. Then what you have to do is, with one of your accounts on Skype, on your iPod, open up Skype, and then uh, sign in, obviously, and then you have to add your other account as a friend or a contact or whatever. So, and once you have your... Uh, uh, your account, your other account, add is at a f as a contact. Uh, you just want to make a call to it, and then just answer it on your computer. Hi, I'm back. Uh, I'm sorry, my mic, my audio quality has gotten worse. I I figured out I needed to switch the microphone I was using for uh, me to be able to accept calls during a video. Anyway, so once you call yourself, just accept the call, and then it will probably be all echoey. What you want to do is when you're on your iPod, uh, for the call, the active call, there's going to be buttons, mute, speaker, hold, video, call. Uh, you're just going to want to press mute because uh, that's going to give you like the ability to hear more clearly. I don't know why, it just does. Then on your computer, you, what you're going to want to do is do audio settings. Uh, actually, in the call, you're going to want to do call, audio settings. Then under general, go to audio settings. And then uh, it says microphone. And uh, what you're going to want to do, hold on, I think I might log out. Uh, anyway, under audio settings, you're gonna the microphone. Uh, there's probably gonna be array or something like that, which is the built-in mic in your computer. Uh, and line-in mic. That's if you have a mic plugged in. It might be called something different. Anyway, you want to look for something that's like rec playback or something along those lines. Uh, and you could just play around with it, like, you could just try different microphones until you hear, uh, just woodcutting on your iPod. Uh, but when you click record playback, that means you're not hearing yourself speak. That means you don't even need your speakers on or anything. Uh, it means it's transferring the audio that you would hear out of your speakers through the Skype call to your iPod. So you're hearing yourself woodcut, like, I'll turn up the value on my iPod. Like, I don't know if you could hear that, but that's not coming out of my speakers, that's coming out of my iPod. And uh, the reason you need multitasking now 
is because you want to be able to hear that on your iPod so you can tell when you're finished uh, woodcutting. Uh, so you want to be able to tell so you could just like shut off your iPod. You could click the whatever button on the top and uh, turn it off. And then just put your headphones in and just be like listening to it like woodcut while you're doing something else like watching TV. The whole reason I was doing this was because I was helping my dad remodel our kitchen. And uh, so I just had the headphones in my ear while I was helping him. So that's the reason you need Skype is so you could hear it. And the reason you need multitasking is because you need to be able to have Skype open and Remote PC Suite open at the same time. Uh, so if you just press the home button, uh, you're still in the Skype call uh, because once again you need the uh, fourth generation iPod Touch. Then you're just going to want to go to iRemote and uh, since you already allowed and remembered your iPod, uh, just click catch. And uh, the reason for allowing and remembering is because if you didn't do that, uh, you'd have to keep allowing it uh, from your computer. Uh, and with the password, you could just automatically access your computer. And the whole reason for doing that is because if you're not really looking at your iPod, it automatically turns off and you lose connection uh, to the computer. Uh, so if you have it uh, allowed and remember, you could automatically just regain connection when you turn your iPod back on. Okay, so once you click catch, you could see yourself and... Uh, and see, I stopped woodcutting, so I'm just going to move the mouse on my iPod and then just click again. And then start woodcutting again. And because you're in the Skype call, you should hear yourself woodcutting. So then what you want to do is just press that button on the top that, like, shut your iPod off. And put your headphones in or just leave them out and you can just hear it out of your iPod. Uh, you can hear yourself woodcutting. And uh, when you stop woodcutting, like say I clicked here and just stop, you just, uh, whoops, why didn't I stop? Say you stop woodcutting because the IV uh, ran out. Uh, all you have to do is uh, slide and unlock your iPod again. Uh, if you left your screen on uh, the remote PC suite, you'll automatically regain connection. Just click on the screen to get the IV and then just turn your iPod off again. And this is just so you could, you know, do this in a separate room and not be around your iPod and not be around the computer and you could just do something else. Uh, yeah. This is a pretty long video and uh, guys, I thank you for watching. I hope this helped you a lot. If you have any questions because I didn't explain something too well or you just don't understand it, uh, just leave a comment in the uh, comment section below and I'll be happy to answer it. Thanks for watching.